What's going on guys, it's Tom here and today we are going to be talking about the rising business of insect protein and how that could be the future of how we consume our protein. Yes, really. Now what do you think of when you think of protein? Do you think of protein powder? Do you think of a nice juicy steak? Look at that, doesn't that look good? Or maybe do you think of vegan options such as tofu or maybe even some soy? Well chance that if you're in the western world you're not thinking of crickets grubs and ants. Over in many places around the world, insects are used as a very common protein source. And it's a thriving business around the world. So you can see why some people think there's a bit of a gap in the market. This could potentially be a multi-billion pound market. And if you're early to the game, you could have a huge chunk of that market cap. Over how likely are we to eat bugs in the UK? Because bugs are kind of seen as a bit gross, as disgusting to make your skin crawl, and quite frankly, it just bugs a lot of people to eat bugs. And these companies are probably gonna to have to make them incredibly tasty for people to be convinced. But one thing that gets my skin crawling is when people don't smash that like button. So please go ahead, hit that like button. It takes literally half a second of your life and it really makes me happy. And every time you smash that like button, a cricket gets its wings. So what are the reasons why we need insect protein? What people say, well for starters, Cricket farms are incredibly cheap to run. And when you compare the difference between cattle farming and cricket farming, the cost difference is quite large. So it's incredibly easy to get into. It could be a thriving market and there could be a lot of money to be made for the people who are early to it. And again, this is incredibly popular around the world. People in Asian countries, Eastern countries, and even south of the equator, people have been eating crickets and bugs for centuries. In fact, in some markets, Bugs are more expensive to buy than meat. In those countries, quite frankly, it's just simply normal to do so. But in the Western world, it is less socially acceptable to eat bugs. So let's talk about the protein content. How much protein can there be in, in insects? Well, it's actually a pretty good protein source. In fact, per 100 grams, it beats out beef rather significantly. However, I can immediately squash that argument like a cricket under my shoe because 100 grams of beef would be about the size maybe a little bit larger than this coaster. But 100 grams of crickets would be an awful lot of crickets. In fact, you're talking nearly seven and a half times the amount of crickets that you're seeing on screen right now. However, 100 grams of meat or vegan options aren't unreasonable amounts to get your protein in. So bear that in mind, when it does come to gram per gram of protein, yes, technically crickets win over beef. However, it's much more likely that you will be having beef over crickets simply because of the portion size. Oh, but there's one final point as to why we should be consuming more bugs in the Western world. And it's something that's been bugging environmentalists for years. And that is the environmental impact of large scale farming, specifically cattle farming. Now off the top of my head, I do not know the figures. However, you can see them here. I've put them on the screen for your convenience. And you can see that the environmental impact of farming cattle far exceeds the environmental impact of farming crickets. And that potentially is the most compelling reason as to why we should be eating more bugs, or at least more sustainably sourced protein. Now we're gonna get into a taste test in just a moment. However, I don't want to act like I'm comparing a nice juicy steak to a whole load of crickets. Obviously the juicy steak is gonna win for 99.99% of people. And a big shout out to the company where I bought these crickets from, Eat Grub. They didn't sponsor the video, they have no idea that I'm doing this video. However, I just thought it was quite a fun video to do, so big shout out to them. Let's get into a taste test of these grubs. So we've got three different flavours. We have Smoky Barbecue, Sweet Chili and Lime, and Peri Peri. Now, I emptied out one of the packs of the Sweet Chili and Lime, just so we can see what it looked like. But we are going to be trying all three of these. So let's go through the calories and the macros. For one of these, sachets of crickets. So we have the sachet laid out in front of us. That's around about 15 grams there. So there's a big boast where it says 44% protein. I think this one has packed with protein on it and this one has 45% protein on it. So calorie wise for one pack of these roasted crickets, you have around about 73 calories per bag. Not too bad. You also have 4.2 grams of fat. 
2.6 grams of carbohydrates and 6.6 grams of protein. You also have around about 0.9 grams of fiber in there, which will of course contribute towards your daily fiber total. Now given these are only about 6.6 .6 grams of protein, it's perhaps not exactly as high protein as many would think just reading the packaging. Now again, if you compare that to a packet of beef jerky or even a protein bar, you were talking around about 20 plus grams of protein. So again, relatively low in calories, but also relatively low in protein. However, in terms of percentage, yes, they are right, it's around about 44 to 45% protein content. Now I wouldn't say excited is the right word, but I am actually intrigued to try these. So we're gonna go in with these. Let's try and find a big one here. And again, they're kind of coated. I don't know if anyone can see that. They're kind of coated so much that you can't, 100% tell what they are. You can see the shell of the cricket and everything. You can see the head. If you look underneath, obviously, you know, you can see the leg. I mean, it's a cricket. Like, what, what do you expect? But, but we're going to go in for a taste test right now. That is crunchy. It's got a little bit of a kick to it. It's quite spicy. There is a lot of seasoning on there, so the salt content is pretty high on this. In fact, the salt content for a packet of these is 0.36, which is, to be honest, pretty high for something of this size. Now the texture, extremely crunchy. These have been roasted for a very, very long time. A little bit of an aftertaste that even the seasoning cannot hide. Again, you can tell that they have just blasted this with as much seasoning as they can get away with to hide the fact that it is, at the end of the day, cricket shells that you're actually eating. Let's go in for a handful of these. Sorry if you're squeamish, but I'm quite interested to see how much this is gonna suck. Mm. So definitely really crunchy. Yeah, that shell gets caught in your teeth. And to be honest, like you need some water with these. Not only is the salt content really high, it kind of flakes off and it kind of like, I can imagine this gets stuck in your throat quite a lot. Perfect timing, Liv. Do you want to try one? Come on, try one on camera. Come on, I'll get, I'll get you a good one. All right, Livy's going to try one. Oh, Let's see what you think for that. Yeah, don't, don't think about it too much, just put it in. What do you reckon? Quite nice, actually. Oh, it's a bit spicy. Yeah, okay, yeah, so there is a kick to it. What do you reckon to that aftertaste? No. Bit of an aftertaste to it, yeah. So initially, that's exactly my reaction at first. Like initially, you're like, "Wow, this is full of flavour. It's actually quite nice." Blech. But you actually get like a pretty big. Please excuse the demon baby in the background. But you do actually get like a pretty, like bizarre aftertaste afterwards. Again, like all of a sudden you're brought back to reality and you are tasting insects once more. So I'm kind of interested in the other flavours here. We're gonna try the smoky barbecue here. Now, interestingly enough, this doesn't have a percentage of protein on it, but it does actually, this is embarrassing. Why would this happen? Now, weirdly enough, this doesn't actually have a percentage of protein on it. It just says packed with protein. These are all crickets as well. There's no sort of like other insects. I'd be quite interested in some uh, spiders, maybe, who knows? Or, I don't know, what other insects could you do? Grasshoppers, that sort of thing? So, let's go in, handful. Yeah, so exactly the same thing. This is actually a much nicer flavor than the sweet chili and lime. This is actually a little bit too spicy, I would say. But yeah, it's a weird texture. It's almost like it's been deep fried. I mean, they're, they're actually roasted, it says on the packaging. Lovingly roasted by our chef, Sebi. Thanks, Chevy. Shout out to Sebi. Um, but really these are like, these are just so kind of, so crunchy, it's almost like they've been deep fried about three or four times. You know where you get like a roasted potato that's like covered in, in oil and grease and it's just been almost deep fried in the oven? A little bit similar to these, but I have a feeling that's actually just the, the actual shell of the crickets. I'm going to have to stop saying crickets because it sort of brings you back to reality what you're actually eating here. Now, we've got the peri peri flavoured here. Oh, and I have a feeling, judging by the smell, this is going to be the most spiciest. <coughs> oh, <coughs> okay. Let's go in for one. To start off with, because I think even the smell now, something's got lodged in my throat. 
Okay, actually, interestingly enough, not as flavorful. It's the texture that's, to be honest, kind of getting me. So we're gonna do a massive handful of these now. Seasoning on point. Now we also have the, the powder. Now, it says here you can add it to smoothies, workout shakes, that sort of thing. Two teaspoons to your flavor, to your favorite blend. However, I don't feel like that's gonna taste very good, especially if I just mix it with what's in this water now. Now, I may end up doing some cakes, something like that, because it does say for baking, just mix one part cricket powder and <laughs> four parts flour, and then you just make whatever you want. So that might actually be a pretty good prank to play on the family. Uh, make some cupcakes or some brownies or something like that. Also says you can sprinkle on soups or everyday uh, dishes, that sort of thing. I don't know if that's probably the best idea. I don't know. I mean, I'm tempted to open this just to sort of smell it, but we'll, if we do that, we'll, um, we'll, we'll do it later on in the video. I'm just looking here and it's just like, there's like a head there, there's like a wing there, legs. It's like living in Demolition Man or, or some movie like that where you're eating rats and crickets and stuff. Absolutely bonkers. But again, nowhere near as bad as I was expecting. But is this the future? I sure hope not. So that's it guys, thank you so much for watching the video. So what do you think? Do you think insect protein has a future in the UK? Comment down below, let me know. Don't forget to leave a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe, tell all your friends about this channel, share this to whatever nerdy forum you're going to right now. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya!